when the missionaries came in. They believed in one creator, and they didn't worship idols and gods. They believed in one creator, and that creator created the world and everything in the world. And each morning when you rise, you face the east toward the rising sun, and you give thanks for the day and things that the Creator has provided for you. Always do that. My kitchen window faces the east, and each morning when I go into my kitchen, I look toward the east, and I give thanks to the Creator. But we have always been religious people in our own way before we were introduced to Christianity. When the missionaries came in, of course, that was something new and strange and different. The Cherokee didn't quite understand. But as they listened, they found out that it was pretty much what they already believed. And they accepted the Christian way. On the reservation today, you will find churches of all denominations, but the main one is Baptist. Most of us are Baptist. Uh, Sequoia, a Cherokee man, invented the Cherokee, what we call the alphabet. And the Cherokee were the only tribe that could read and write their own language. And with that, they established their schools. They printed a newspaper. And that newspaper was printed in Cherokee and English so the settlers nearby could also read the news. They printed the New Testament in the Cherokee language. Now that was quite a feat. What if you had to translate that New Testament into a different language? I think that's one of the most amazing things that has ever happened. I have with me today a Cherokee songbook, <coughs> and it has different uh, hymns in it and the way it would be sung in the Cherokee language. I also have another one here. This is a Cherokee hymn book, and it's really neat. Now, I do not speak the Cherokee language. When I grew up, it was not spoken. With the removal of the Cherokee, when the soldiers came in and rounded up the Cherokee, they were placed in stockades. They were not allowed to speak their language. And if you were caught speaking that language, you would have been severely punished. That was by rule of the government of the United States. That was one way to defeat us. Um, the old customs could not be practiced. The old stories could not be told. They were trying to wipe out the old lifestyle, turn us into something that we were not. But that language was not spoken. And when I grew up, I might hear a word now and then, and it would be around the fireplace late at night, and it would be spoken in a whisper. So I know words and I know phrases, but I do not speak the language fluently. A few years ago, a Cherokee man named Robert Bushyhead, he remembered hearing his great-grandmother speak the language. And with his daughter, they developed a system of teaching the language to read and write and to speak in the Cherokee schools. Today, the language is being taught, and it begins in the baby room. And that is the only language those children hear in that room, is the Cherokee language. Uh, parents are learning along with the children. It is coming back. And also being taught is the history of the Cherokee people. The traditional arts and crafts of the Cherokee people, how to make and do these, how to gather the materials, and how to prepare 
prepared them to make things from. But they also studied the same subjects that the schools right around here study out of the same books that is used in the local schools. We live in a modern world, but we cling to the old ways, the old customs, the old traditions. And in Cherokee today, you might find some that do not. They're the very modern ones, but many of us still cling to those old ways. And yes, I've always lived in Henderson County, but I have family that live in Cherokee, and during my lifetime, especially my growing up years, I have spent much time there with them. Very special time. And I work part-time, and I told them that I was coming over here today to talk with you all. And one of the girls said, what kind of stories are you going to tell preachers? <laughs> I said, a lot of creation stories. <laughs>